up, you guys. Hopefully you guys had an amazing holiday season and as promised, I'm gonna share with you guys some of the lunch boxes that I created for the kids for school throughout the month of December. As you guys are gonna be able to see, they are winter slash Christmas holiday theme type lunch box ideas. So hopefully this inspires you for future lunch box ideas for your littles at home. Now, if you guys want to see these more often, definitely thumbs up this video and comment down below. And let me know down below if you guys wanna see them like this as a month recap, or if you'd prefer to see them throughout the course of the month as I'm doing them. Also, I should let you know that if you are looking at grabbing any of the accessories I use for my lunch boxes, and I know I get a lot of questions asking about the actual lunch boxes that I use for their lunches, definitely make sure to check out my Amazon store down below. All of my favorites are listed there. They're all categorized, including all of my lunchbox faves and any of the accessories that you guys see me use on a regular basis for their lunch boxes. So definitely check out the links down below and enjoy the video. Okay, first up, this is actually a lunchbox that I shared with you guys earlier this month. So I will make sure to leave the video for it. It's on YouTube here on this channel, linked up above for you guys to check out. But I made a Christmas tree pancake lunch for the kids with a whole lot of little goodies, okay? And so I show you guys exactly what I use to make this Christmas tree formation with the pancake, as well as how to make it that really pretty green color. Um, I actually did a few things to make it happen and how I decorated it as well. I also featured some hot dog snow boots or you know, Santa boots as it were, as well as some barbecue chips, some popcorn, some M&Ms, and of course a ghost squeeze. So this is just a brief recap of both of the kiddos' lunch boxes. Yes, you guys know, the kids have different tastes, right? And I always ask them every single day what it is that they want for their lunch box as their main course for the day and any other snacks in between. And so as you're gonna be able to see, there are Cheez-Its in Jayla's lunch box. She loves strawberries and she prefers Go-Gurt over ghost squeezes, right? And so you'll see that they're Specific things are also in their lunch boxes as well, but for the most part, everything is super fun, colorful, and festive for a fun December lunch box. Next up, we have another couple of lunch boxes from another day, and you guys, you're gonna think that those are actually pancake pancakes, but they're actually sandwiches. And I actually used the same method I used for the previous lunch to make a ham sandwich for Jackson and a grilled cheese sandwich for Jayla, okay? You're also gonna be able to see that there are a few other additional items in there as well. So Jayla's favorites like cheese cubes, we've got of course our M&Ms, they both love those. Grapes for Jackson, we've got Go-Gurt, we've got um, some other items in there as well. And then I dressed up their graham crackers and I added some eyes, these are also edible as well as the nose, okay, and I used um, green icing to do that. We've got our usual Cheez-Its um, and strawberries in Jayla's lunch, and that was that. I also added a candy cane to each of the lunch boxes too. I am also in the process of making their snack bags, right? So one thing they have every single day for snack is a banana. So each of them are going to get a banana. And then typically they have different snacks with the banana because Jayla and Jackson have completely different tastes. But this particular day we're going to do some fruit snacks. So we're going to do a banana and then a couple of fruit snack packets for each of them for their snack. Good morning! Wanted to show you guys a really quick lunch I put together this morning, all right? So first up, we've got some Go-Gurt. We've also got some snowman chocolates for a little sweet treat. That is ranch that you see here because Jackson requested broccoli in his lunch today. So that is gonna be his dipping sauce for his broccoli. We've got a ham sandwich with a gingerbread on top. We've got some barbecue chips and we've got some little clementine oranges. Now for Jayla's lunch, we've got a Go-Gurt, we've got the snowman chocolates, we've got some candy cane gummies, we've got a grilled cheese sandwich with a gingerbread on top, we've got some Cheez-Its, we've got some cheese cubes, and of course Jayla staple her strawberries, okay? So this is the lunch for the kiddos today. The only other thing I have to add, and this is to Jackson's lunch, are these cute little festive gummy bears. So as soon as I put the lid, because there's actually a lid for this ranch, once I put that on top, that's gonna go right on top of that. Okay, we've got another super festive lunchbox idea that features these adorable mini Christmas tree waffles. And really all I did was I made a waffle that I of course used some kid-friendly food coloring to make green. Went ahead and cut them up into little triangles and then decorated them with really cute M&Ms. And I used green icing to do that. I also used a little star from a sprinkle container that I had from Target. I added their usual 
things that they love in their lunch boxes. So their barbecue chips, their broccoli, cheese cubes, their Cheez-Its, and of course added a Go-Gurt and some orange slices. And then of course I added a really festive cookie as well. Okay, so this was a lunch I created for Jayla. This was on a day that she was going to school solo because Jackson was homesick. And so I wanted to make sure to put all of her favorites in there. And so I made some macaroni and cheese for her. And this is macaroni and cheese that has vegetables infused within the macaroni and cheese. So it's made with all vegetables and all natural ingredients. Also added some graham crackers that I went ahead and added some edible eyes to with some green icing, added some cheese puffs, and then of course I added some colorful gummy bears as well as a gogurt and mandarin oranges too. And you guys, she loved it and it was a rough day for her to start so I wanted to make sure to make it extra special for her. I also wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the lids on the containers. So I covered up the green and red gummy bears and I added a little sticker to it. And this is actually the lid for the container I used for the macaroni and cheese. It actually came with this lunchbox and it keeps everything nice and hot. Also, I made sure to leave a little note for Baby Girl as well, and I always leave little lunchbox notes for the kids in their lunchboxes. These in particular came from Target, so I always make sure they're themed in some way. Okay, you guys, so this is what both of their lunch boxes looked like this particular day. They requested completely different things, and this happens all the time. And you guys already know, I always make sure that I deliver on whatever I can when the kiddos ask, right? So in particular, Jackson's lunchbox, he wanted a hot dog today. So went ahead, added a hot dog, and it features those adorable eyes. Um, I should also mention that container that you're going to see for the macaroni here in a second that has the lid came with their lunch boxes. Both of these lunch boxes came with that exact same one. We've got these adorable festive Oreos. We also have his favorite barbecue chips. We've got oranges and green and red gummies, as well as a drinkable yogurt. Jayla wanted macaroni and cheese on this particular day. So of course, mommy got her macaroni and cheese in her lunchbox. I also have some cut up hot dogs, as well as Cheez-Its, mandarin oranges. We've also got some green and red gummy bears, and then also a yogurt, a drinkable yogurt as well. And that makes Jayla's lunch. Of course, I always add a little love note, and these came from Target as well. All right, we've got another day. Okay, so the kids both wanted pizza today, so what did I do? I made some garlic crust pizzas. I've shared this with you guys here on this channel. I will link it up above, and they're super easy to make. They just take a few minutes. Of course, I make them fresh first thing in the morning, and so I added a little Christmas tree to it, a little Christmas tree pick, um, and you guys always know I use festive napkins, so you'll see the napkins change. I change them pretty much every single day and just make it a little bit fun for the kiddos, and they get a surprise every time they open up their lunch boxes. I've got a cute couple of picks that are in their mandarin orange today. We've got some Sour Patch Kids, we've got some chocolate, we've got go -Gurts, and of course we've got their usual suspects in there, their yogurt, their cheese, their Cheez-Its. You guys know they're creatures of habit and there's certain things they just like in their lunch boxes daily. Okay guys, we got another day where they both wanted completely different things. Jackson wanted spaghetti and Jayla wanted macaroni and cheese. So we've got our go -Gurt, we've got a mandarin orange, we've got his favorite barbecue chips. He's been obsessed with barbecue chips lately, okay? We have some spaghetti, we also have some green and red M&Ms, okay? And then for Jayla's lunch, she has a festive cookie, some M&Ms, macaroni and cheese, mandarin orange, cheese cubes, as well as Cheez-Its. Really quickly wanted to show you guys a little secret that I have to share with you guys in case you guys want to sneak some veggies in their foods, right? So in particular, this item right here is something I use often, okay? This is actually a vegetable powder, and basically every serving is a full serving of vegetables for the kids. So I add this to their marinara sauce, their spaghetti noodles, their pastas, um, anything that I can put it in, I will add it in where it won't really alter much of the taste because it really doesn't if you don't go overboard with it, but it adds a serving of veggies to whatever it is you add, okay? And so I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Well guys, that concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any recommendations on specific types of lunches or themed lunchbox ideas you guys wanna see from me, I'm more than happy to test it out and try it out for myself and share it with you guys here. Again, comment down below if you guys wanna see these in a monthly recap as I showed you guys here at the end of the month, or if you guys would rather me show you guys the lunchboxes as I actually create them and make them separate shorts or whatever the case may be throughout the course of the month. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.